John van der Dobbelsteen is from the Delft University and Frank Willem Jans is from the Leiden uh, Hospital. Um, you don't mind being filmed right now. <laughs> well, thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Uh, I do. You do? Don't. <laughs> you don't. Because this, this is what we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, digital operation uh, recording assistant or whatever uh, Dora means. But I think a lot of people would not feel comfortable with being filmed while they are working. Can you understand that? Uh, yes, definitely. Obviously, uh, nobody wants to be recorded while doing his work or doing parts that are not really related to work, but happen all the time during the day. The thing is, there's overwhelming technology, not in daily life, but also in the operating room. For example, special instruments to do coagulation, special instruments to do sonar surgery, etc., etc. I won't bother you with all these details. But before we start to do the operation, we need to check if everything works. Because if I start operating and the, exam for example, the electrosurgery doesn't work, I have to take another apparat in and connected, etc. But the door system will say, okay, this is an automatic checklist and it only can be started, the operation, after everything is checked, for example. And finally, the door project also says halfway that if something is differently from my general program or my, my, my habits, it can warn as well. For example, the water where I'm rinsing with is nearly finished, I didn't connect it, etc. It may warn. And it also takes the pictures, and if there goes something wrong with the patient, I can use it as a black box, what went wrong, and I can look with other surgeons. Can a patient ask to see his own operation afterwards? They sometimes do. They say, uh, do you have an, uh, a video record, and can we have a look at it? Is and it to, to be explain. recommended or not? Well, I never recommend it in straightforward, but uh, some patients, they ask, do you make an, uh, a record, uh, and can I have a look at it? And I discuss it with them, yeah. You know, I would understand if a lot of surgeons would have a certain fear that people would go uh, check on them afterwards and see if he did a good job or not. No. With their lawyers. With their lawyers, that's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> but I think from patient safety point of view, it's blame-free. I think we train doctors to look at what they did and to discuss with others what they are doing and wh why they are doing that. But it's differently if the lawyers come in. First, when we started the project or, or working on DORA, we thought, well, we can probably develop a system working with uh, smart cameras uh, that uh, uh, only looks at, for instance, these instruments and never looks at the doctor. Then these privacy issues are no problem at all. But we, uh, we found out that as soon as you have one image and you start to process that as and that's what you do with the smart camera, these privacy laws already apply. So then you already need uh, informed consent. Then there's this special issue, if there something goes wrong during the operation, um, then you have a video uh, which is relevant for uh, the treatment of the patient. And then other laws say, in that case, you have to put that file in the patient file and that means that it will become accessible for the patient and so on. So there's this whole cascade of uh, regulations that uh, come in play when yeah, something happens. Finally, what do you think? Um, on one hand, privacy issues, legal issues. On the other hand, um, better surgery, better evaluation, better learning. You, you have to choose now. Oh, we should put those cameras there, definitely. Um, but Frank Willem might not agree. That, that's what we realized during the project, that there's still, still different ambitions between lawyers, technicians and, and, and clinicians. But um, I, I think that uh, the, the doubt that these people might have because of legal issues, um, uh, they are definitely, um, well, I'm not saying less important, but the, the safety of the patient should come first. And uh, I don't think that the doctors are at risk that um, lawsuits would be um, uh, against them. 